so from the check of punching shear what we found we found that toy v is greater than ks into toy c right so hence it is the check is not okay right uh, so we are calculating the depth on the basis of toy c from this relation the relation is vu2 divided by b0 into d is equal to ks into toy c right so we are calculating depth on the basis of toy c only so the d is calculated 305 mm and we are providing overall approximately 310 mm so we are using 60 mm effective cover to reinforcement and overall depth will be 60 plus 310 is equal to 370 now come to the step eight we are now we are going to start design the reinforcement first of all we uh, we have to design reinforcement for the hogging bending ho hogging bending moment which is a maximum bending moment we have calculated so the value of mu1 is mu means factored maximum bending moment the moment was two in uh, 271 into 10 to the power 6 into 1.5 to make it factored so actual value is 406.8 into 10 to the power 6 newton mm and uh, uh, the area of steel required ast1 because we are calculating the steel for the first movement which is a maximum so ast1 is equal to this equation and we are putting the value which already have uh, given in the numerical uh, numerical statement so fck is m20 fy is 415 mu is obviously 406.8 in transverse power 6 and fck b into db here b is width of the footing right so b is 1 uh, 1800 into and depth we are taking 310 right so here uh, the answer of ast1 is 4336 mm square so for the uh, for the 4336 mm square uh, cross section area of the bars we are providing 60 mm dia bars for the same right and the cross section area of the 16 mm dia bar is 201 mm square and the number of bars we are going to provide are equal to total cross section area for the maximum bending movement divided by the cross section area of the one bar that is 16 mm is 201 cross section area the value is 21.6 we are taking it as approximately 22 number bars so we are calculating the percentage on the basis of area provided that is 0.9 uh, 0.79 percentage uh, steel we are going to provide so uh, this uh, 22 uh, number of bars we are going to provide over the width of 1.8 meter on the top face of the footing uh, at the point of control fracture near the column B the point of control fracture near column B that is C2 point of control fracture we named the point of control fracture that is C2 so factored shear force is equal to 440.96 kN so here so let us continue all the bars up to the point of control fracture for the requirement of the code what is the requirement of the code this is actually the check on development length to avoid the cracks at the point of contrafracture the check is equal to m1 divided by vu factored shear force plus l0 is a uh, increased anchorage bars uh, should be greater than the development that we are going to calculate so here it is the actual explanation for the same it is a simple sport at a point of inflection positive bending movement tension reinforcement shall be limited to a diameter ld ld is equal to phi into sigma s divided by 4 into toy bd we are providing check to avoid the cracks at the point of counter fracture so actual area provided according to 22 number of bars is 4422 mm square and this is the value of xu why we are calculating come to the next page xu is a distance of uh, neutral axis from the top of the compression or footing so movement of distance for m1 is equal to this equation 0.87 fy into ast this is the value of t or c and this is the value of z d minus 0.42 into xu so the MOR for M1 and movement of distance for the movement 1 and maximum bending movement is equal to 4.131 into 10 to the power 8 Newton mm. A factor shear force we have calculated that is for uh, 540.96 kN and the L0, L0 is limited to D. It should be equal to D or 12 of 5, whichever is greater. So we will take the maximum value for the L0 
and LDs for the M20 concrete and FE415 steel we often calculated in the previous numericals that is equal to 47 phi so 47 phi is phi means 16 mm uh, dia 47 into 16 is 572 and for this equation m1 is equal to 4.131 uh, into 10 to the power 8 divided by this equation plus 310 so 12 into phi is equal to 192 phi is 16 mm and the d is 310 so obviously 310 uh, is greater so we are taking l naught is equal to 310 and the length of this equation calculated by this equation is greater than LD. So hence the code requirements are satisfied. If you done the above uh, step uh, very easily then the further steps are just a repetition of all the same. So we are performing the same steps for the reinforcement for sagging bending movement that is at the outer face of the column B. We are again taking MU0, uh, MU2 that is movement 2 mu means factored movement that is 97 into 8 and 10 is the power 8 into 1.5 to make it a factor and putting in the ast2 here here is it a ast here it is the ast2 cross section area of the steel and for that area we are going to provide 12 mm dia bars number of bars are 13 actual ast according to the 13 bars is 13 into 113 113 is the cross section area of the 12 mm dia bar so actual area is 1469 mm square so percentage we are going uh, we are uh, going to provide that is 0.23 and the criteria to satisfy the development length uh, at the point of contrafact the same equation we are going to following uh, we are going to follow and the actual ast is equal to this and x is equal to 40.90 same repetition I already told you. Calculate the equation M1 over uh, VU plus L0 is 596 which is again greater than LD. LD for this, this step is again 47 into D and this is uh, greater than that, uh, that is 596 mm. So here again the uh, code requirements are satisfied. So we are again third time repeating the same step for the reinforcement for sagging bending movement which is at the this time at the outer face of the column A. Right. So the same steps are again following what is the M3 movement 3 that is 15 kN meter and here it is 1.15 into 10 to the power 8 into 1.5 is equal to this and AST again the same formula we are providing the area of steel is 203 and we are calculate the percentage for the 203 mm square uh, area that is 0.031 percent which is uh, not uh, satisfy the code requirement so we are providing the minimum cross section area that is 0.12 and calculating the number of bars 8 and again check for the development length at the point of control factor number of bars are satisfied according to above criteria and uh, now again calculating the values to fill in the this above uh, this equation m1 vu and again calculating l0 is equal to uh, 12d or d whichever is greater that is again 310 mm and ld is 47 into d for the m20 concrete and the fe 415 steel that is 564 and uh, the value uh, value we get uh, uh, is same 564 from this equation and after solving the number of bars are 13 so this is actually uh, this now the, uh, for this equation uh, m1 over vu plus l0 is equal to ld now we are going to uh, perform a last step that is a check for the one way shear we know the critical uh, critical section is lie at the distance of uh, distance d from the face of the column for the one way shear and uh, we calculating the value of toy v and toy c that is uh, from this equation what we get we get the the toy v is greater than toy c hence and the one way shear is unsafe according to the depth of 310 mm so to satisfy this code requirement we have to provide shear reinforcement we are providing or using 8 mm dia 8 legged strips which are having this cross section area 402 for the same thank you very much if you have any query you can contact me you can call me thank you